Hey guys, if you're interested in Atomic Time Wall Clock, this is the video for you. We're going to do our long-term review as well as our unboxing of our new Atomic Time Wall Clock that we just got online. I'll leave a few links below where we got it. There's a lot of different designs and styles online. Big thank you to all 10,000 plus subscribers to the Sterling W channel, whether it's product reviews, DIYs, Costco finds. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for new videos that pop up pretty much every week. Anyways. So we have multiple ones of these um, atomic wall clocks from Lacrosse Technologies. I think they're really awesome and they work pretty well. All you do is put the battery in and it works. It basically takes a signal from the National Institute of Standards Technologies over in Colorado, synchronizes the time signals, and you basically don't have to adjust the clock at all as long as it gets the signal. If you don't get the signal, then you get this. You basically get off sync timing. So big um thing is that if you have no windows or you're it's not placed close to the top of the building it's probably gonna have errors and that's probably why you don't want to buy one of these so anyways but if you're close to a window and have a really good signal then very very cool get one of these things they are fantastic because it runs on aa costs about the same cost as a regular uh, wall clock but you never have to set it and here's the quick unboxing then so there's just two thumb screws in the back of it so let's go ahead and unscrew the thumb screws. I don't know why people have so much issues on taking out, you know, new clocks. But the reason why we got this one from um, Across Technology is that it has an extra battery option where you can put two extra AA batteries on the side so that it will last for about three years that we don't have to touch this thing. And normally we have to change about the batteries about every year or so. But this one just requires one AA battery. Our other ones also require one AA battery. Here's the UPC code if you're interested in, the, in this 12-inch atomic wall clock and search for it. The uh, instructions are very, very simple, and it comes in different designs and stuff, of course, but it really just needs, if you want to pause the video and go back and forth from here, this is, you know, suit yourself, you know, and, and do it. But it's very simple. You just basically put an AA battery in the center of it and just hit the um, set button, and it basically finds it for you, and it just does it. Every day, it actually does its, um, its own reset to double check, which is fine. Uh, the button these are, are pretty simple there's only three main buttons and there's six switches for different time zones we get the set as well as daylight savings time if you have to change it manually just hit the you know the wave button to recalibrate we use a 1.5 volt duracell battery for uh the primary one and two um other aa batteries in the secondary compartments so this should last easily three years and as it calibrates it just basically runs through its cycle and finds that you can actually hit the wave button in the back and it will basically search for the signal and just do a narrow calibration. So it takes about 10 minutes or so to go through the rounds. And that's as fast as it goes. And I sped it up because it does take a while for it to speed around. So usually by 24 hours or so, it should be synced. Now, as you can see from this one, they're not synced. So the reason why is because um, the one on top was actually the new one. We actually put it in the guest room. So... It couldn't get enough signal because it was like about, I don't know, probably 10 feet from the window. But right next to the window, it works fine. So, but if you're if you're away from the window, it doesn't work, which kind of defeats the purpose of getting this clock, which is, that's where I'm heading towards. If you test it out, you know, it might not be for everyone. If you know that you're not close to the sky or not, you know, close to a window, or maybe, um, maybe you can't get signal, it's going to wreak havoc because what's going to do is go try to find the signal that gets the wrong signal or the wrong uh, syncing and basically gives you the wrong time. So I need to set it manually and then reset it every time because it's going to try to reset itself if you see even a bit of the signal. So anywho, I got a manual one. We just got a manual clock and just replaced it. The simple ones you get at a Target for like 15 bucks. We got this really stylish one at Target. There's other similar ones online. I'll leave a few links below. But at the same time, yep, that solves it. If you don't have enough signal, it's going to cause these weird errors and weird time things. So like and subscribe and see other video reviews as we get more fun stuff or uh, we do some shopping and comparisons, even on coffee, because I like drinking coffee and instant coffee is actually pretty cool, as well as, you know, how to DIY and fix stuff like, you know, run with the cars and stuff as well as reviews. So like, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave some comments below if you have these atomic clocks as well as you know other fun ideas you want.